What's going on guys, this is Mr. DeLorean here, welcome back to today, a brand new video, and today what I want to do is talk about some of the Walking Dead theories that I have on Rick Grimes and the CRM. So let's just get right down into it. So my theory is that Mason Beal, Mason Beal from the Walking Dead will be on season 2, and yeah, pretty much season 2 will be the one to kill Rick Grimes. Now, what makes me think this? Well, let's get into that. So we met Mason Beal in the Walking Dead world beyond season 2, and I'll be perfectly honest, at first he did seem like a genuinely nice person that just wanted to to welcome Hope into the community, into the CRM base, and just, like, you know, be her friend. But as we got to pretty much the last two episodes of The Walking Dead World Beyond Season 2, Mason Beale starts showing more of his colors of being pretty much someone who's very into the idea of the CRM and basically just doesn't care about what they did because he's heard everything that they've done, like, you know, coming from mass genocide and all of that, and he seems to not really care, or he at least seems to be very ignorant or very just, like, you know, kind of gullible and just be like, oh yeah, the CRM would never do that. Or he does believe them and he just straight up doesn't care. As he te as telling, by the way, he talks to Hope and Iris after Percy's death in the episode, she's pretty much like, you guys caused this. It was all your fault. You all got what you deserved. Percy got what he deserved and all of that. So he basically showed off that he is a ruthless son of a bitch who is pretty much into the CRM's ideologies and just doesn't care in general about human life. Unless it's his own or his own communities, probably like his father, Major General Beale, is like pretty much and like Jadis is pretty much like, but also who else was like or kind of had that ideology but Sebastian Milton. Now obviously I'm pretty sure 95% of the Walking Dead community knows who like, you know, Sebastian Milton is and obviously he's just like, you know, a complete spoiled motherfucker and brat. And we did get introduced to him in The Walking Dead, like, you know, season 11 going into like, you know, season 11B. And I'll be perfectly honest, he is a spoiled brat. And honestly, for this theory to work, there were no, there would be no big death in The Walking Walking Dead season 11 finale or in the last few episodes and that they wouldn't really do anything with Sebastian Milne other than have him just be a giant brat and a bitch and or anything which is kind of like I do feel the Walking Dead will have that big death although it kind of would be really weird if they had a really big death and then they had this really big death in the Rick Grimes movies or in a possible Rick Grimes show as mentioned by the um YouTuber movie I will make sure to link his video down below in the description where he basically talks about a possible Rick Grimes TV show it's not confirmed but it's like you know a very interesting take on like you know since it's been so long since the movies why not just make a TV show which I 110% agree with and or anything since obviously it does bring up a really good point of like, you know, once a movie's over, it's over and a TV show kind of gives you more time to digest and like you'll know, slowly enjoy the media or the content. But back to the theory, obviously they have Sebastian Milne on The Walking Dead and it does kind of make sense that he'll fuck up and do something. Although he does seem like a lot more wimpy than like, you know, Sebastian Milne from the comics. So I could see them not doing that big death where Sebastian kills someone on The Walking Dead season 11 main show. And I could see them having this gigantic build up to where Mason Beale ends up killing Rip Grimes because like I did say earlier is that Mason Beale seems very into the idea of the CRM like he does not care about the mass genocide he just kind of like you know as long as it like you know his way of life is like is secure he does not care about anyone else which who else was like that but yet again Sebastian Milton he was kind of so into his mother's way of life that when Rick Grimes eventually got his mother Pamela Milne arrested he went to kill Rick because he believed in the idea so much and he's like what'd you do to our way of life you screwed up my family the commonwealth and he ended up killing Rick so I could see in the Rick Grimes movies or if they do end up switching to a Rick Grimes TV show which like I said highly recommend I do feel Rick Grimes in the I do feel this is something that would happen in the third movie where we're gonna get like you know an older much more grown grown up version of like you know Mason Beale and potentially in the third Rick Grimes and we Rick Grimes will end up taking down this CRM we're not really taking them down but honestly trying to better their way of life kind of like he did in the comics with the Commonwealth and basically put like you know Pamela Milne behind bars and basically fix the Commonwealth and I can see him doing that to the CRM in the third Rick Grimes movie because like I said it makes most sense in the third Rick Grimes movie for him to obviously die in the third one because you can't have a third Rick Grimes movie without Rick Grimes it just doesn't make sense with the title and I'll Obviously, this does mean that Rick will get to know Major General Beale because there was an article that I did read earlier this year or, or like a few months ago where basically saying the main villain of the Rick Grimes movies will be Major General Beale. Since it's this person, this mystery person or being that we've been mentioned or he's been hearing a lot about in The Walking Dead World Beyond, mainly in season two, a lot more. Ever since Mason Beale did get like, you know, introduced, so I do feel this theory does make sense in my honest opinion. Like, you know, in the third Rick Grimes movie, obviously they're going to work up towards like, you know, a huge revolution 
throughout like you know Rick Grimes movies one and two and then the third one they're gonna fully take them down or not take them down like I said possibly make them better like I said in the comics or maybe they're gonna pull a Walking Dead season three and basically have like you know Walking Dead season three finale where they basically have all the Woodbury people come back to the prison and then they'll have all the people from the CRM come back to Alexandria maybe and maybe better that world or maybe they'll have a connection between like you know the CRM Commonwealth Alexandria Hilltop and Kingdom which is most certainly preferable since I would like to see the CRM actually built into a good place we never even seen where Major General Beale lives we like obviously it is most likely the most secure of the like CRM communities where it's like you know obviously the Major General lives there so basically to recap the theory Mason Beale will be the one to kill Rick Grimes in the third Rick Grimes movie since obviously Rick Grimes or Rick you know I don't know why I keep saying extended Rick Grimes but since Rick will have like you know a huge fight with Major General Beale and basically take him down and like you know restore the order of the CRM and make it like you know actually good and livable place where they just don't shoot any normal folk for knowing like you know that they even exist and that Rick will in general make the community better possibly connect Alexandria the Hilltop Kingdom like I said all but four and obviously the CR obviously the Commonwealth and then obviously Mason Beale will not like this since obviously he's so attached to the idea of the CRM and everything that they stand for and will end up going and killing Rick like Sebastian in the comics for basically destroying his way of life and possibly either killing Major General Beale's father or putting him behind bars which I'll be perfectly honest I can see them going for the behind the bars tactics since obviously like you know they'll mostly go into like you know the whole thing where it's like you know restoring the world how it was so we're gonna like you know not kill we're gonna like you know make him as an example like they did with Negan in season like you know nine of The Walking Dead and it would kind of stay true to the comics where basically um, Pamela Milne is behind bars and then eventually they have Sebastian Milne also behind bars but it does make me wonder with this theory who will be the one to go because obviously as you know in like you know the Walking Dead comics Carl ends up going up to Sebastian Milton all up very very angry going like you know you're lucky you're behind these bars or anything like you know I think he says Heidi Ho or something when he was walking away from him or something it's a Negan phrase I swear to God I can't mention I'm so angry I can't right now but I wonder who will be the one to walk up to like you know Mason Beal's cell and just basically like you know give him the rundown and he's gonna spend the rest of his life in there I feel like the best ones would be either Michonne Judith Grimes maybe RJ maybe Hope will although at the moment she doesn't have any connection of Rick Grimes at all and or anything unless maybe they develop a like you know a relationship between the two and the Rick Grimes movies between Hope and Rick which I think would be really cool I'm honestly hoping for like I said either Hope Michonne Judith or RJ one of those like you know people to walk up to the like the cell to confront Mason Beale of like you know his murder of like you know Rick Grimes but that was all I had for the theory make sure to comment down below what you guys in general think of this theory do you guys think Mason Beale will kill Rick Grimes and obviously like I said the third Rick Grimes movie or do you have your own theories make sure to comment your theories down below and what you guys personally think will happen do you agree with mine do you disagree what do you like you know agree about what do you disagree like you know with just in general what are your thoughts on the theory because like I said it is definitely an insane one and one that will probably not happen happened for like maybe even five fucking years which is insane to think about because obviously at the moment we have no Rick, like you know Rick Grimes movie news none at all and like I said and like I'll make sure to link the movie idol video down below in the description but I feel like I would be so much more down for a TV show since obviously I can enjoy it for a longer amount of time and also it might not take as long I don't know but I'm definitely excited to see if this theory does come into like you know to life and everything I do feel it makes the most sense unfortunately for Rick to maybe possibly get his comic death in the third movie and then for, for them to live on his legacy and I honestly can't wait to see Major General Beale versus Rick if we do get that where it's like a fist fight between the two because like I said we haven't even seen Major General Beale at all and we most likely won't get him at all until the um until the Rick, first Rick Grimes movie or any of those pieces of media and yeah I will see you guys all later peace of my amigos and peace out